Welcome back. We are here looking at the tech stocks. This is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, October 19, 2020. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscriber button down here in the corner. That really helps us a lot. Also, in order to just grow this channel and add new content. And like this video if you if you like it. And hit the, uh, the bell button in order to see our newest videos. So we'll start off by looking at Netflix. And as you can see, Netflix uh, fell uh, two, uh, minus 2.06% uh, on Friday as expected. We are trading technically sideways at this moment for Netflix. And most of the tech stocks basically fell as previous also expected. So we're trading at a high of 575. We're trading at a low of 450. Eight. So what we may most likely will see uh, in the coming days is that we'll fall towards the 50 moving average. If that breaks, we'll fall towards the 100 moving average, which I will expect to be significant resistant. We did fall to these levels a few weeks ago. I just don't believe that we'll fall uh, to those levels before the election. It may happen. But we will run into these lows of 458 and we'll fall in towards the 150 moving average will also be support. But trading Netflix at the moment is fairly predictable. We have a high here, which is a double top, uh, which is a really very shine. Um, and even though it is possible to sell the stock, this is a long term uptrend. Every major pullback towards the 100 moving average should be seen as, or the 50 moving average should be seen as a buying opportunity for the stock. If we look at the technical indicators, they are all really bearish. Sorry, and we can see the, the MACD is about to turn around. You'll probably cross the signal line on Monday or a Tuesday session. The, we were uh, overbought and now we're the. the RSI is showing signs of weakness. The same goes for the CCI. We will definitely go to lower levels here. Same goes for stochastic. It is pointing to lower levels. And the, Mac, the, the Bollinger Band is also, it was way across the over top of the Bollinger Band and now it's heading to lower levels. So if you look at Microsoft, Microsoft, well, nothing happened. It basically ended in zero. So we had no growth, no decline. We ended up basically exactly the same place where we started. But uh, Microsoft will most likely also fall uh, uh, compare similar to all the other tech stocks. We're trading at the lows of uh, 196, a highs of $232. And at this moment, we will most likely go first towards the 50 moving average, then the uh, 100, uh, 100 moving average, and that's probably as far as we will go. This most likely will be the signal sign of a, uh, where buyers will come in. And this has also been an area where, where we've seen a lot of buy-ins uh, buy uh, for the stock. Technical indicators are all turning around this point. As you can see, the MACD is about to turn around. The RSI is also looking very weak. The CCI is also showing signs of, of, of downward momentum, and so is the stochastic, and the Bollinger Band is, well, not really showing signs of anything. It's basically trading it sideways. But I don't believe that we'll, if we go towards these highs, I believe that we will see a lot of buyer sellers come in and push this price uh, down again. So you look at Apple, Apple has fallen uh, on Friday 1.4%. We are trading just above the 50 moving average. And at this point, we if we break the 50 moving average, we have the 40 exponential moving average. And if that breaks, we will probably go to these lows, which I don't believe is going to happen. The lowest level that we probably see Apple fall to is $104, at least in the short, uh, short term. Um, we may fall significantly further um, due to the fact that this that this stock is really far very very overvalued at this at this point. And um, I've seen many analysts that have pointed out that 
if there, that Apple stock may fall significantly in the future. But in the short term, we will see resistance at the 50 moving average, the 40 exponential moving average. We can see what happened here when we got close to that. We basically uh, um, uh, uh, included the upside. But we found resistance at $125. And if that breaks, then we'll have the all-time highest here at $137. Uh, break through the 50 moving average, we'll see us fall towards the 104 level. So if you look at Amazon, Amazon almost fell 2%. It was uh, on Friday. We were we basically pierced the 40 exponential moving average. And that could be a sign that we are heading towards the 100 moving average. So the 100 moving average is exactly at the $3,033. The technical indicators for Amazon are very bearish at this point. Um, we just look at the MACD is completely turning around. It will cross the signal line on Monday or on Tuesday. The, the same goes for our side, showing signs of, uh, of a downward pressure. The same goes for uh, for the CCI, stochastic, and also the Bollinger Band. So we will most likely first head to the des destination of uh, 100, 100 moving average. And I don't really favor the upside at this point. We are going to see a pullback before we go to these highs of 3,550. So looking at Tesla, Tesla also broke down 2% on Friday. We are trading just above the 20 exponential moving average. At this point, I do believe that will go lower towards the 40 exponential moving average and it will find res further resist support here at the 50 moving average. Um, every single time we get close to the 40 or the 50 uh, moving averages, we have bounced. So just keep that in mind. This is not a stock that you should sell at this point. We need a break below the 50 moving average, a clear sign that we'll go towards the 100 moving average in order to short this market. At the moment, we are trading fairly sideways for Tesla. We are not seeing the same uh, same growth in this stock as we saw um, only a few weeks ago. If you look at the technical indicators, they are all fairly bearish. We have the MACD is trading sideways and basically flat at the moment. Um, the RSI is pointing to lower levels. The same goes for the, the commodity, the CCI and the stochastic and the Bollinger Band, we will most likely find support here at 428 first. If that breaks, we'll go to the 50 moving average or the 40 exponential moving average at around 408. Lowest levels we'll probably go to is 400, which is also a very symbolic round number, and we will see a lot of buyers come in at that point. We can see, look at uh, Facebook, Facebook fell 0.3%. Uh, we are trading just above the, four, the 40 exponential moving average, but I don't believe that it will, this will hold. I do believe that we'll go towards the 100 moving average at around $254 before we go higher. So we're trading at the moment at a highs of three, 303 and the lows of, of 244. We're right in the middle. Uh, we are expecting a lower price levels or basically fall towards the 100 moving average before we bounce. We can see that it has previously been significant support. If you look at the technical indicators, they're all extremely bearish for, for Facebook stock. The MACD is about to turn around. The RSI is pointing to lower levels. The same goes for the CCI, the stochastic, and also the Bollinger Band. So all of these indicators are technically indicating that we are going to go lower. So finally, looking at Google, Google did rally on Friday, but it has found significant resistance exactly at this level or around this level here at 1587. Um, this also was previous uh, resistant and I don't believe that will go through um, this level anytime soon. I do believe that we'll go towards the 50 moving average first and before we go all the way back towards the 200 moving average. If you look at the technical indicators, we are overbought at this point. 
we are not as bearish as for as um, compared to the other uh, tech stocks uh, but this is not very encouraging signs in when you look at these technical indicators macd is still uh, fairly bullish the rsi is overbought the the commodity index is basically showing that we were in a downtrend we are basically flat at this point but the stochastic is under the signal line and i do believe that we will this will turn around on the monday session and will go to lower levels if we break above this uh, area here or this price level here we'll go towards the 1600 level before we go to these all-time highs of 733 um yes so hope you find this uh, video helpful you're welcome to support our channel by hitting the subscribe button hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos good luck and happy trading